Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Brian Costello here, BC. Welcome back. I'm shooting from my house right now. Normally I shoot from my office. I really do like this window because I get some natural light. As you can see, we made the move over to real if you haven't seen the whole uh, change that we've made in regards to real estate, but I'm not here to talk to you specifically about real estate in this video. I'm here to talk to you about sales. Sales, right? How can we improve our sales? What are some things that we need to keep in mind? And what are some of the key points that I think a lot of people are missing? Okay, let's start with this. If you really wanna up your sales. Number one, you need to understand the real reality of human nature and how we operate as human beings, which I'm gonna discuss here in a second, versus what's being pushed in the world, right? As an example, in a social setting, you're expected to be politically correct and be nice and all those things. However, our human nature will always be lurking right beneath the surface and people's actions in virtually every case will show that and demonstrate it and will come to the surface, right? As an example, somebody may not be interested in what you're selling them. They're not gonna tell you in most cases, I don't want it. They're gonna say, we'll think about it, we'll consider it, mm, you know what, we're gonna interview one other person. That's human nature being disguised, being disguised by the be nice, be politically correct and all that stuff, right? So I want you to understand both, meaning how you've been programmed and we've all been programmed to be nice and all that stuff, right? That's just one example. And also human nature. This is why I'm, I'm very uh, adamant about promoting subjects such as evolutionary psychology to people because it has to do with how we relate to each other. Men and men, men and women, adults and children, social hierarchies and all that stuff. And I'm not here to say it's right or wrong and all this stuff. Nature is nature. And we need to have more conversations around that, right? In regards to our behavior as human beings, our behavior. So understand, understand that stuff. That way when you're interacting with people, and they say something and their actions are different, you start to understand it. This is why the person who tells you they're gonna call you back never calls you back. This is why the person who says, you're my go-to person, we're not gonna commit right now, but we're gonna go with you for sure. This is why they end up going with somebody else. Those are smoke screens. Those are the societal fluff masking human nature, right? I want you guys to understand this stuff and start to study it and start to really see it for what it is. This is why I, for years, have been unfiltered and unapologetic in my approach because that's the reality. I didn't give you the fluff. Oh, real estate's easy and sales is easy. No, it's challenging. It's simple, but it's not easy. And you have to understand that, right? So, how is this gonna manifest and what are some things you can do to work on it? Number one is this. You always, and normally over time you'll develop this, for those of you who have been doing uh, sales or communicating with individuals for a while, you start to develop like an instinct, right? Like they tell you something and then your, your, your instinct, your gut is telling you, mm, no, they're telling me they're gonna call me back, but I know this dude's not gonna call me back or I know she's not gonna call me back, right? Like you know it. In the beginning, you may not have that or it's, you're not really in tune with it yet, okay? You're not in tune with it yet, so you don't trust it. You wanna give people the benefit of the doubt. You want to believe the societal fluff that goes against human nature, but your nature is already hinting to you, uh-uh, they're not about it, and you know it. But you're going to take them for their word and be like, you know what? Every other indicator told me that they're not going to call me back, but hey, they said this. This is why the excited new salesperson comes in and says, they said they were going to call me back. They said they're going to sign with me, uh, sign with me uh, and, and hire me or buy my product, but we know the veterans like myself are like, mm, you lost that one, dude. And then they look befuddled. Even though if you have that conversation with them, they'll tell you, yeah, my gut was telling me they were BSing me, but they said, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they said. What they say versus what they respond to or what their real actions are are always two separate things. Two separate things. Okay? I want you to fine tune, almost like a tuning fork. Ding! this be able to spot and increase your awareness to say human nature politically correct stuff okay the more you can float and understand and go between both worlds and understand them and operate on each one you will be operating at a level in sales that very few people on this planet can touch this is one of many things you can do but it's very important i can play both games if you want to be super nice and and um, politically correct and corporate and all that, I can play that game perfectly. Not a problem. Now, do I like it? No, because I know it's fake for the most part. 
right? But I can play that world if I want, but I understand human nature at a very deep level, probably more than people think. Can you do the same, right? And again, you have to be able to understand it. I'm not here to convince anybody of, of this or that because I have people sometimes arguing with me. I don't care, I'm not gonna argue. But I know when it comes to communication and sales and influence and persuasion, I can operate at a level that very few people can. Okay, and if you don't know, shit, find out. You can do the same, but you have to be able to see both. Why? Because then even if conversations or words veer off one way, I know what the real thought is by them, I know what the real action is, and I have to always bring it back and do what I need to do within the sale and the framework of the sale to come back, to understand what do I need to say and do to poke them in their human nature for them to come with the right action or make the right decision that I want them to make, okay? So when we discuss things like tonality and body language, right? And words, composing communication. Words, again, that could be the conscious mind, da 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 da, da and tonality too. Body language, that's the vast lion's share of the percentage of communication we cannot hide. This is why clinical hypnotherapists and like the grandfather of conversational hypnosis, which I love and I teach at the highest level, is uh, Milton Erickson, right? Fantastic person, fantastic person. Master of reading and understanding body language. Meaning, you can tell me something, but your body language cannot lie to me. It's always going to tell me the truth. Just like when a seller tells you or a client says, I like what I'm hearing, but then they cross their arms and they're like, body language is telling you something completely different. That's what I need to hone in on, not their words, that. But again, if you're nervous or you're not really paying attention, you're not tuned in to the conversation and the communication, you're gonna miss those subtleties because a lot of this stuff can be milliseconds. It can be very quick. It could be a slight shift in facial expression or eye contact. Some of those nuances that you have to catch. Now, if you're not there yet, where you still struggle with what to say, you can't find the words and you're beginner or intermediate, this stuff might go over your head, but it's something to keep in mind and focus on for the future because that's what you're gonna need if you really wanna take it to that level, okay? But again, nature versus nurture, whatever the hell you wanna call it, right? Because you know sometimes it's a, it's a clickbait battle for the title of these, these videos, man, it's ridiculous. Every video has to be uh, the cold hard truth, right? Otherwise nobody fucking clicks on it. But dedicate yourself. Like I kind of mentioned in my previous video about dominating in the real estate market for the realtors, right? But for the salespeople, the communicators, the people who really want to create experiences with, with you know, their discussions and their communications and their sales and all that stuff, this is one you have to know. If you can move people at that emotional level, if you, if you can really um, deduce and read body language, pay attention to their tone and really see what's behind just the words that they're saying. And you can read the subliminal communication, which is the levels and, and, and layers that you need to study. Man, you will have a leg up on everybody else because right now everybody's running away, everybody's scared, and people are not doubling down on their skills. And this is where you separate yourself and you can translate this to anything that you do and have success. Okay? so. I wish you happy studying and keep getting better and keep improving and you'll see that life will change as you begin to evolve because the moment that you express yourself differently through your communication internally and externally, everything around you vibrates differently, everybody responds to you differently and opportunities show up, the world just responds to you differently. It really is incredible once you start you know, upgrading and really achieving higher levels in this tier of communication and expression. It really is beautiful, okay? Make sure you guys check out the event that I have coming up at briancasala.com. All the links are below if you want to join me at Real. If you guys want to jump on my coaching, set up a free call to, to get some help, go to my website and get on the email list. All those links are below. Appreciate you. Sub, leave a thumbs up. We'll see you. Peace out.